we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign of what's going to happen to these other. It can seem overwhelming. But you, are, you there, are optimistic. Yeah. There are days when it looks very hard. If people think it's easy, they're wrong. If, if people think it's impossible, they're wrong. It's possible. It's possible, but it'll be the most amazing thing mankind has ever done. If that's what it has to be. Yeah, it's an all-out effort, you know, like a world war, but it's us against greenhouse gases. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know, I come back with that video just to make you think. And we have storms going on in the south where there's temperatures have been colder than ever. Places that normally do not get as much snow are getting it. Now, guys, we have to understand weather has been controlled for a long time. We have China mastering weather. Spent $168 million to control weather. We also right now have almost 14 states doing rolling blackouts. But the one that is amazing is Texas. Because guys, remember Texas has its own grid. All the rest of the states, guys, we share a grid. Texas gets its own grid as having issues. Now don't forget what happened today. We have Bill Gates announcing his book. Yes, he's in charge of climate change and we know what's about to happen. We have Jeff Bezos donated about $10 billion. We've had all type of billionaires talking about climate change coming out. So guys, we know there's a master plan at the end. And we know Mother Nature always strikes back, and they know that. Remember, Rockefeller spent millions and millions of dollars on research knowing that this time would come. But they still decided to keep pumping oil knowing that the actual sea levels were rising. So they know this is about to go down biblical, guys. The flood is coming. Whether you like it or not, whether it's manipulated or what, oh, it's coming. And it's going to be big. Get ready. And we know who's getting us ready for the party. That's right, Bill Gates. He's getting us ready, guys. Same way he got us ready for the C word. Always talking about it years and years. Oh, it's coming. Same thing with climate change. What did he say? It's the biggest task for humanity, guys. And he's right. Because we know the New World Order has a plan. We know the New World Order shut the globe down, guys. And everybody's sitting at home using a lot of energy. When they normally will be out and about. So we know when it comes to the New World Order, they cause a problem. 
They wait for the reaction and then they run in with the solution. Because don't forget, when it comes to the New World Order, everything is planned out. Talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right, lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, they did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory so far, it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions. And these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Any, go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with, with this to. thing. Alleged to. Alleged to, right. Yeah. Now, we realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bringing in the laws of physics rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. <laughs> We're actually using trillion watt lasers yeah. now. And in the laboratory, sure enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. Sure enough, you can actually bring down electricity mm. down, the, down the beam. So what does it mean for drought areas that, that need to have rain for crops? And if they don't have them, uh, there's in the consequences of famine. Well, the bad news is if it's a clear blue sky, it's not going to do anything at all because it only takes water vapor that's already in the air and condenses it. However, for floods, for agriculture, for farmers, for people planning wedding parties, uh, football <laughs> games, you name it, outdoor events and agriculture and flooding and even hurricanes. All of Severe weather has sparked emergency declarations in several states across the country. The Arctic blast is pounding states from coast to coast with heavy snow, freezing rain, ice, and some of the coldest temperatures seen in years. Right now, there are reports of more than 2 million people in Texas without power. CBS News' Maria Villarreal has the latest from nearby Oklahoma. From this fiery wreck in Oklahoma, to whiteout conditions in Arkansas and down to Texas. 